Welcome to another Inspirial tutorial. In this tutorial, I will show you how to turn on and off your grids in Photoshop and how to modify your grids. I also added a bonus. In the second half, I will show you a quick shortcut on how to make a JPEG that shows your grid lines. We are now in Photoshop and have a blank canvas. Let's turn on the grid. What we do is we go up to view, click on that, come on down to show and go over and go down to grid. Click on that and now our grid is displayed. There is a shortcut which is control apostrophe on the PC that will turn the grid off and on. This might not be the grid that you want, the exact grid. So to change that, we go up to Edit, Preferences. We have a choice between General, or we can go right down to Guides and Grids. We're gonna go into General, and then go over to Guides and Grids. And here we see our grid information. We're black, solid line right now. We could go with a dotted line. We have a grid line uh, every one inch and a subdivision every four times, which is a quarter of an inch. So if we go back out and take a look, we see at our rulers, we're on pixels. So if we go to inches, we now can see that our grid is one inch by a quarter inch subdivisions. Now let's go and change it to pixels. Say we had a digital document going to pixels. We go up to edit, preferences, general, and now we're going to change it to uh, pixels. And we're going to go 72 pixels. And we're going to divide it by two. And now we go up and now we have our grid of 72 pixels broken in half with subdivisions. Now the purpose of grids is basically to help you line things up and to help you in your layout. So let's go to text and uh, we're going to select 72 points. And by the way, I changed our grid back over to one inch and the ruler back to one inch. And now we're going to type in big city. And we're going to try to line that up. And if we notice, we the software Photoshop will allow you to line things up. We can see a little purple mark coming up. So we can line things up on that, but we could also look at what we have and we can line it up on the grids. So right now we're lined up on the grid with our big city. Okay, I've now changed our text to a white text with a black outline and a black shadow. Let's bring in a photo. Okay, I brought in a photo of a city and we're gonna move it down below our text. And now we have the big city with our text and the grid. So let's make this look better. We're gonna go back into our Edit menu, down down preferences again. We're gonna go over to the grid and guides. And one thing we're gonna do is we're gonna change their color to a different color to light gray. We're gonna change our grid so that it's in inches. Well, yeah, it's in inches, but it's 0 0.250 each, uh, each line. And when we say okay, now we have a grid that is quarter inch all the way across our picture. A lot of people say, I wanna copy this, I wanna turn it into a JPEG. Unfortunately, if you try to export this picture as a JPEG, it will not export the grids. Now there's a lot of tutorials on YouTube on how to recreate the grid, but there's an easier way. And that is simply to go to your Windows programs and go in and it'll t there's a tool called the snipping tool 
And what you want to do is go in and grab the snipping tool. And what it's going to tell you is it's going to tell you to use Windows uh, Shift S. And it's going to allow you now to come in here and select this. And it's going to copy that picture and put it on the clipboard. And now if we go into another program or let's just stay in Photoshop, we can simply go up to new file. We're going to select clipboard. It's going to open up. And of course it brought in our grid from our previous thing. We're going to turn that off by doing the control apostrophe. And now we're going to do our control V to place our picture. And now we have a picture and now we can go ahead and save it as a JPEG and it'll show up. So this is our original picture. Here's our other picture. Comes out great. In fact, if we zoom in, you can still see the qualities there. This is the end of our short tutorial. Thank you for watching and please hit the subscribe button.